Yo, people come back to the fix it's boy and I'm here with Ari and we have a dynastic individual in the building. But before we get to that, we have to say big up to our sponsor, Jamed's International High Power. Meditation is the key. Meditation enhances divinity. You don't know, say so you can follow them across all social media platforms, as you see on the screen right there. Make sure, say, uno, go visit their website at jamedsint.com. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Of course, shout out to Jamed's, one of our very loyal patrons. Big respects to you. As I said, people have a dynastic That's individual. Not a word. Yeah, I just made it. <laughs> You repeat it. <laughs> yeah, it is a dynastic. It's not like it, 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 oh, it exists God. in a way like that. Just like dissipated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. Dynastic cool. individual in the building. Friend of the show, I'll go on Kyle Butler. Bless there up. There you go. Dynasty. Yeah, man, bless up. Thank you. Well, there yeah. we go. Bless up, bro. I was Googling, I was researching, and I'm looking up, and I say LinkedIn, and it says CEO Dynasty Music. And I'm like, it's who created that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm like, LinkedIn. Like, oh, oh, like, wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. It's official. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's it. But we are listening to a new, well, couple tracks off a new rhythm. Um, yeah. Sin rhythm. Yeah. With the craft and and skipper skipper done right yeah yeah, yeah. so far so you know I mean we know you're not new to the juggling but juggling kind of get a resurgence too and yeah. you know come in with sin so this is like for the remainder of the year like what's the the, um, the idea behind well reading? every year uh, I do a, a juggling yeah. since I started music first it was private jet then mm-hmm. my letter to you then bleed rhythm mm-hmm. then ashes to dust. And now it's seen rhythm. Mm. I have the rhythm from January. Mm. But you know, times change. We're not in COVID anymore where you can just release everything. Mm. Um, but the idea behind it is really is where dancehall was or is in a in a sense where um is in a kind of dark place. Yeah. Um a lot of the songs on it are speaking about dark things but i'm not gonna pretend and be like everybody don't go through dark phases in them life. So it's really for them. And from there we're moving forward. Yeah, because I'm like, about because <coughs> it seems like we've been getting out of this dark phase. But it looks like you want to take a back. <laughs> exactly. And see my like people being, you know, with the big yeah. bones for game yeah, and everybody. And in the summer vibe. vibe. Yeah, so yeah. why this type of Tempo and type of outside, feeling, no, it. outside, but it's mm. like you know, you get that high with the big bones with him, so you know, you have mm. to calm down now. So that's why I waited so long to, you know. Mm. You know, yeah. But why can't we be happy all the year round? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, I'm not saying there aren't things in yeah. that there aren't songs that um on the rhythm that aren't going to make you feel happy or motivated because mm-hmm. you have a lot of motivational words in it and yeah. the lyrics as well. Um, you may have even girls' song if you listen to the um sample. You know, you have a well, couple Alicia girls song. Yeah. Oh Alicia, yeah, Alicia. I heard the Alicia Keys sample, yeah, so. and I'm like that. <laughs> that to me was very different in yeah. terms of dance because dance are not really sample sample yeah especially and hip-hop sounds like that like hip-hop but, is but no for the, the newer beat them be yeah. sample yeah, yeah. Like but and, 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 yeah i know sampling to be really a hip-hop yeah. staple yeah. you know so i mean and craft is more like a rapper too so i'm just thinking <laughs> to is that the vibe to like trying to to really you know like um, be more international in that sense um yeah that is the intention and I personally like my stuff to sound, have a lot of melody. Mm-hmm. Um, so I always tried it. So, cause I did it with Sina as mm-hmm. well. I did it with a lot of rhythms that I produce already. So I guess it's just a flavor. Cause I produce what I like at the mm-hmm. end of the day. Um, if I don't like it, I'm not putting it out. Yeah. So. Want to clear that song for them? <laughs> yeah, man, we have a process where we forgot through oh. for all of them. I'm going to say, yo. You think Alicia Keys is like... It's very prominent in it. <laughs> prominent in yeah. The rhythm bad to me. You see me and, and I like when them type of sampling there is done well. But no, for the people, just to take it back to the conversation surrounding, you know, the tempo of dance hall now and people kind of get tired of the darkness and them thing. I'm going to say, me like it. But what do you say to the people them that say, hmm... We need to get out of this type of sound that dance is currently yeah. in the the harrowing <laughs> darkness and everything the sound. The truth is, um music, you can't really put a cap on music. Here is a, a creative space, it's art. And same way people watch horror movies, the same way people um watch comedy music. We can't watch comedy forever. 
We mm-hmm. can't act like we're happy all the time. So, I mean, there's a time and place for everything. So, if my music is the one that you listen when you're there at home or when you go through a little phase, then that is fine with me. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily have to be playing at every party. That's not who I am. Mm-hmm. So, my focus really is to put out what the artist I feel as well mm-hmm. um, into the culture. Um, put out what I feel in as well. Um, and we move forward, but I'm not going to cap my say. I say, oh, this is the only thing that I do. I have, I have a summer reading that I have put on, you know, is even put on ready for next summer. So, you know, we're just moving forward, we're evolving, and we're trying new things, and we're going miss, and we're going hit. So, you never drop it that summer. <laughs> uh, the summer, the crowd, it all good. Um, yeah, it was kind of fast. I was traveling a lot as oh, well with oh, football God. and yeah. stuff Being like super that. agent. We'll see you, we'll see you, we'll see you. We'll see you. Yeah. you know, you said something well, that's very interesting to know. You said that you're not trying to be focused or you're you're not focused on being played in the parties, yeah. you know, and but that's where most of the... Mm. Even radio, like, that's how, like, popular music mm-hmm. are, is consumed. So is it that your focus is trying to be, trying to build a niche audience and trying to cater to individuals versus, mm-hmm. like, a larger public? Um, It's like, let me give you an artist that, though. Rod Wave. Mm, I know him. He's a big, fat I, singer. Yeah, do you hear Rod Wave in parties? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really listening. <laughs> no, but he has a massive fan base. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and it's... It's quite similar with me. I, I've, you know, I would rather have loyal people mm. and, and that support my music, no matter what, mm. instead mm. of having fans. In reality, mm. <laughs> you want real supporters. Yeah, real supporters. Because yeah. what you find in the industry now is that people support you for maybe three months, six months, yeah. and they're gone to the next thing. They're mm. gone to the next producer. They're gone to the next artist. They're gone. It's a fast pace. So mm-hmm. if you have a cliche and you have a have a set of set of people, right, they know that they're going to get this. You're sure of this, mm-hmm. and they love it. They they consume it, no matter what. Mm-hmm. You know, that's better than you putting it out and you don't like it. The artist time that voicing for you don't necessarily feeling it either, mm-hmm. and they're like, what What are you doing? You mm-hmm. know, does that. <laughs> Way you speak, or does it facilitate growth outside of you know building community? You know, yeah. because of course, when they do that, sometimes they see that the artists them will build a core fan base, yeah. but sometimes things don't really grow outside of the core. Oh, I get what you're saying. Mm. Um, you have viral hit songs, mm. and you have, have, you have you have artists that gradually boss. Mm. You know, and P, and if if I like one and one and one and one, it does reach a point where you have to evolve. You know, you have to take yeah. the risk. Like you have a lot of people that run Jamaica for years, mm. and they don't take the risk for going international. Mm. Take the risk and miss. You don't have no problem being cold for a couple of months, but try and make the jump. Mm. You know, and that's where I feel like a lot of artists and even producers kind of miss mm. miss out you know? so some of them comfortable just <laughs> running things out there eh? i feel like they get the high and the ego is like yo you're the man of yard rare, rare, rare. Uh, but we're, on, we're only this big uh, you feel like they reach but they're not really rich exactly. you know, yeah. you know, and it, it's not until you actually travel and you meet people and you get exposed to certain little things that mm. you know you really understand that what we're doing is very minute, mm. you know. Mm. So it like I mean, I'm not saying that. Oh, we can't make a living from it because everybody have to eat. You them have to eat. Yeah. Enough of where I come from, far. Mm-hmm. You see me, and that is fine with me. But if you really want to push yourself, push the music, push the um, the culture, you have to take the risk. Mm. True. And that's where I feel like we're just being competent to be like all right we run jamaica two years we run jamaica for even three months now because yeah. the amount of music i drop nowadays it's like you can't get a three month run and that's it mm-hmm. you know so like how you how you don't <laughs> fall into the trap now of like because i'm sure either you want to mm-hmm. be successful in jamaica yeah and then of course that that 
grows out into the wider world but like how how you how you come up with the idea of bridging and balancing both like the sounds especially because mm. we know what works in jamaica yeah. and we kind of have an idea of work, what works internationally how you kind of bridge that and say well i do want to cater to a local audience yeah. but also trying to grow and take the heat as you the heat and or yeah. the chance and mean, you just or, have to try it's really it's really about creativity it's about blending sounds it's about blending genres it's it's a lot you know it's mm-hmm. a lot um it's the right timing as well you know mm-hmm. um what Zimmy them did was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I think that rhythm had super potential if they push that it can really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and then you now you have Afro beats and stuff that is with Byron Messiah, you know, mm-hmm. that one song is bigger than many songs that we did for years. Mm-hmm. You know, opening a lot of doors for a lot of our producers and artists and stuff. So I mean, that's a risk. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. So we have to try and I believe that we have the talent and the people. We just need the unity back. Cause since was <laughs> since there ever play, unity? Yeah. No, I be I, you know you know in during COVID times I saw that there was it, there was coming back to a sense. Mm. But since stage show and money, you know everybody have money again. Everybody had a man again. Yeah. You know it's it's a different ball game. Yeah, Start different. Everybody has scrapped and fight. Yeah. You know, them place. yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah, yeah. when we're done, we're not complete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Madness. Yeah. Who made the reading by the way? Um, Bandy is a youth from Trinidad. Mm. Oh. Yeah, been work been working with him from last year. Um, very very talented composer, yeah. very low key as well. I still feel like the um composers need to come out of them room. Come out of them room <laughs> and, and, and and be like, yo, this is me, you know, yeah. but. I don't hide them. I'll, I'll give them credit on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean. So, like, what goes into, like, you know, like, selecting a song or a rhythm, sorry, mm-hmm. uh, a composition, and say, well, okay, this is it. This is what we can do. Because even how you get t- to be introduced to him if him live in a Trinidad and him yeah. come out time. <laughs> um, You know, the first couple juggling, I like, a lot of people reach out to me on a daily still. Okay. To work with me and to collaborate. And um, I would always evaluate and... You mm-hmm. know, try. Yeah, so them like it's yeah. just like them send your bugger rhythms, pretty much. Them will send me rhythms. I'll send them samples to use. I'll send them songs to use, okay. and we we'll work. You know, mm-hmm. and I would do my job in getting the artist videos and mixing yeah. and mastering mm-hmm. and everything yeah. else. Yeah, is me so. Yeah. yeah okay so it's pretty much because he's from trinidad him have that trinidad zone so exactly. was it that the idea to even tapping into that market um kind of in a sense but i was always been a fan of the trinidad mm-hmm. um i have a lot of friends from trinidad as well a lot of you see footballers. Yeah. me um Zerimar is my good good friend um I'm, I'm a fan of his music i was a fan first mm-hmm. and then we started doing work so you have to understand the culture and the sounds as well for it to work. Because mm-hmm. you can mess it up completely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we went there too, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a whole different ball game, exactly. whole different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why them no one get out of them room? I really don't know. I think a, a lot of the, the composers, you know, are are very intelligent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're um like socially so- awkward. Socially <laughs> awkward. Yeah. Yeah, because what happened are like what we've seen happen over time, say yo. Them want the glory. Yeah. So sometimes them, they make it seem like so the producers are hiding them. But then no, you you are here saying so, oh, them no at least him and others are, you know, they they seem to want to tuck themselves away. Yeah. All right. How many composers do you see pushing the songs, promoting the songs? Mm. You're not seeing any composers going out of them way for promote a song. You're not seeing any composers, you know, trying anything at all other than making the beat some and most of the time you know and that is a conversation that i don't like it's like you cannot hide the composers and you cannot say the producers the executive producers don't play a part mm. you cannot that's true because the energy that i may give an artist a composer could be around them for years and it's a complete different energy. It will hit with me in a in a one day and they'll hit with you for years. Mm. Mm. You know, so I mean, it's a lot to do with energy, it's a lot to do with roles. Everybody needs to understand them role and play them part and accept That's what, what they should get. It's, a, it's simple <laughs> yeah. as that, you know. Mm. 
make the paperwork exactly. speak it's, it's for not, itself. I yeah. mean, you can make a million songs. Mm. You can make a song today, tomorrow, wherever. I mean, everybody can eat. So I don't see the need, oh, all right, then me, I got to take off this man off of this or yeah. re, re, that unnecessary. No, me, I forgot to ask you, no. <laughs> because, Mark, I don't know if you still at work, I don't know what is that, but yeah. Mark's situation with Drake and Panda and him, something they're like, oh. what was your thoughts on that? Um, no, Mark, Mark, a good youth. Remember mm-hmm. the first time we came here, you know, mm-hmm. it was too hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the two one was dying. Yeah. 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 yeah, so, uh, no, man, remember, it's always the intention for him to go on him own. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Thing, isn't it? I am very pro of him. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do right now is phenomenal as yeah. well. But with the drift situation still, um, I don't know who is wrong. I hear so many stories and mm. things, but I just feel like everybody could have get a piece of the pie still. Yeah. Matt doing part and promote the song. Mm-hmm. Panda doing part to the beat. TJ sing the song. Is mm. it me? So yeah. everybody playing part. Mac of the streets, bro. So like, mm. why would you want to cut out Mac? Mm-hmm. And Mac have opened a lot of doors for many producers here. Mm. So I think me? that, because all it boiled down to, guys, what I was saying, a conversation and proper contract. So even so even if they had a contract, so what what's the issue? So it just as you rightly say, it seemed like so many sides to the truth. Exactly. Yeah, pretty uh, much. I, I say the, the, even the word we just use a while about <laughs> promote because it seemed like that is a point of contention, at least with cer- certain verbiage that is you that is used used with certain parties. Promote, produce. Mm-hmm. That seem like that seems to be like, you know, a sticking point. So you know, you weren't really a producer. <laughs> like <laughs> all them things, all them yeah. street producer, all these new terms and all them things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, all that's ghetto, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ghetto, Bob. <laughs> all right. A song, is, a song is not a hit until it actually hit, you know. Mm. You can be in the studio up to this day on the shelf, you know. But until one person says, all right, we have to push this song and spend money on this song and put it in the road and put it on TikTok and make gala dance to it and re re re. That song would only be in the studio right now. Mm-hmm. So everybody play them part, mm. you know. And it's crazy. You know, how you how you prevent now. these things? Because you know, funny the thing enough, is, I've when got... you bring a contract or a split sheet to an artist or even anybody at all, them get jumping and be like, "Oh, why why you want to do this? You mm-hmm. don't trust me." You know, mm-hmm. then the energy is off. You don't make the best music. Yeah. For real, that has been your experience. Of course, you don't gotcha. make the best music. It's like, all right, you bring a contract to a man, a man a pre, a man a bother one voice here. Wow, wow. wow. is it me? So it's like you have to go off a trust, and most of the times is. When the song do get big, it's like, all right, the artist them go get one bag of dub and stay true and re re what the producer them don't touch none at all, right? And if things do cool down, right, that's when they being like, how much you making from this song? You know, that's when they're looking mm. to the left. But as I say, every, I don't have any problems like that with anybody. Everybody and me cool. No, my offer us. <laughs> you literally come and, and do proper business. <laughs> yeah. I bring the contract up, and they're like, "No, no." It's like it's like you put it's like a bad energy after that. Mm. It's like not, not necessarily that them saying no, you know, because you have artists that sign it. I'm not mm. saying, yeah. but most of the time it's like you know. Because I mean, like, that's the proper thing <laughs> yeah. before you go into a, a working um situation. Mm. You need to be in most both parties. Right, let me give you an example. When people try to be too corporate with all them speaking to me, it's like uh, it's like a it, it kind of break my energy. Like, just get to the point, you know? Mm. Yeah. Um, so I feel like that as well. It's like when you go through all of that process you know, just before or even after, it's like, it's up for managers to do as well. You know, yeah. the artist's not really supposed True. to be yeah. getting into yeah. that. But most of these artists manage themselves mm. in reality because, all right, then we'll have a friend that them says they manager, but it's still, I forgot you, the artist, forget the. The boy, yeah, mm-hmm. the artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if, artist yo, the artist are really deep on that. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a cancer lawyer, yeah, so because even Bad. with we, like, if we for make people sign paper before them do an interview, which we should be doing. <laughs> but if, if even if we do that, it just kind of go against our mantra, our ism, how we do our thing where we just make people fall, we just have a conversation. Oh, man, for sign up a paper now before we talk. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just kind of go set things upon yeah. 
a sort of awkward note. But I can understand the, the artist, but the composers, is it like that? Yeah, man, definitely. Because okay. yeah. remember, say, you have to sign up um, publishing for them. You have yeah. to do masters and all of them things. So you have, to, you have that has to be in place. Okay. But you've pre- but as I said, like, you know, so far, we've not seen, like, any sort of negative energy mm-hmm. when it comes, or negative press, whatever, when it comes to no, your No, man, readings. there's a lot of things that happen behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Mm-hmm. Is it me, me and composers before, me and artists before it, always get into something like that yeah but i mean i just feel like mac thing was a more public one yeah but yeah. everybody got through it yeah some part and it's really if you want to fight it or you want to move on and be like, all right that's one song you move on make another hit song mm-hmm. that's how i feel most of the time mm. so, so that I'm, that that situation could have happened to you or where of course. it never get public but yeah of course like that yeah, happened, yeah. yeah but um, so you never bring it to court, then, but they never allowed you. No, I, it's not with nothing. One, no, but it, it, uh, eventually get rectified, you know. Okay. Um, it's nothing go forget load up or nothing like that. It's mm-hmm. nothing like that, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. It might just reach. <laughs> Knock on but, the yeah, what I say, like, 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 what the worst situation you ever had with an artist, business wise? Business wise. Yeah. Um, the worst situation I ever have with an artist, business wise, is when basically I start spending money upon a project mm. and the artist nobody want to put out the song, or me and the artist may be getting a little argument, or mm. and I have no way to get back all of this money that I spent. Is it imagine spending say 400,000 on a project and how you get back your money is through royalties, right? Yeah. Streaming. And you can't release a song? What so, happens? So you can't release it <laughs> You can't release it without him? You can, but then you're in a in a in a rumbling with the artist. Oh. You understand? Mm. So do you want to kill a relationship where you'll be like, all right, me and this artist don't feel like or you just take a loss? Which one? And most people we finish like for life. <laughs> That's the area. You understand? I know the funny thing is usually the other way around with artists. I say, yo, producer, no one the put up my song. Yeah. Yeah, man. No, the song and but play. that's the thing. It's a gamble for producers, you know. Mm. When it, remember, say you can drop a song and it hit and you make a lot of money, or you can drop a song and it miss. And he make one dollar, mm. literally one dollar. Even cents. And is an artist. You can you go to an artist and be like, "Yo, I made one dollar from the last song, and I don't recoup my money." You can't do that. Mm. You know, none of us are point. operating at at that high label standard. We'll be like, "All right, you know, you have, we have to recoup this money." Nobody is doing that. Wow. You know, wow. so it is a gamble for producers when you're making music so i feel like we should be appreciated a little more and valued because mm-hmm. artists need producers so as we need artists without artists then we can't make it song true true is it mean it's not like we are write the song then give them our give them that thing there mm. but what, what, as i say go back down to rules yeah, everybody, everybody play them part yeah is it me love artists love composers love thing everybody make one team we put it out all the way all right Top of ball, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whisper. Yeah, I'm so proud of that youth. You know I mean, what he's been doing so far. Nar takes you know all the credit. And you know, <laughs> say, you know, say we boss him and me <laughs> boss him on the, on the platform. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, seriously, it look good for see say him. May he made his debut for the reggae boys. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Screw a goal in at the Gold Cup. How you see things progressing with him so far with the national team? I think that he he is going to take a national team to many World Cups, not just one, but many. Wow. Um, he has that thing like Michael Jordan, in a sense, like him rise to the occasion mm. every time. And if you're pre in the Manning Cup season, every time in team down, him, him rise up and come back. So, I mean, he will carry a team on him back. Um, the sky is the limit for him. I have no, when he went on preseason, the feedback from the coaches, from the staff, from everybody was positive. Mm. You know, they can't wait to have him back. They want to send, as as this, them set of games are done, him gone again, you know. It's in me before time, you know. For yeah. Chelsea. For, for Chelsea, Chelsea, you know, mm. so. Man is a monster, man. And it's only for him to just stay focused and, 
you know, don't get caught into the wrong. You, you know, know where so. I want and wonder to like, where <laughs> does and your yeah, actors are age. I don't know if it's, you yeah. are his age, right? Yeah, like <laughs> you and um, my dad, yeah, my dad. Phoenix, yeah, Phoenix Sports Management. Yeah, and yeah, Phoenix All Stars Football Academy. Yeah, I'm a. I would be a part of both. So I help coaching uh-huh. with the academy mm-hmm. and I also help with management. Because I want. To, I always wonder the process <coughs> to where, um, you guys' relationship continue when he's with Chelsea. So is it uh, as an agent, but maybe mm-hmm. not coaching, but pretty yeah. much like. Some it's, business. I will be somebody. working on, on behalf of the company, so on behalf of Phoenix Sport Management. So it's really on behalf of my dad. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. reality, cause he's the man. Yeah, he's yeah. the manager. He's mm-hmm. the agent. He he does the negotiations like that. But if him send me to do a job on his behalf, I can do it. Yeah. perfectly. You know. So it's just it's just <laughs> in terms of business side, but in terms of even his growth as a player, mm-hmm. like the skills and everything that you guys. No man, my train man. So I'm still train. That's how I want to train. Of course, of course, still train. Of course. I mean, that's where people go wrong, you know. Yeah. It's when you switch up the formula and be like, all right, he thinks, all right, you're not getting better from this. It, don't switch up the formula. This is mm. what gets you here, and this is what going to get you even further. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. So, so. I'm to Chelsea <laughs> people name. Them good. I mean, coach, so of course, I'm good. Them coach. I course. don't know. I'm asking. Because <laughs> <laughs> if he's coaching him and then walk to the kill the chance. No, man, coach. our thing is personal. Like, yeah, okay. in, in, I even do, do yeah. <laughs> like most footballers. They will have that personal. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There's a okay. lot of things to these elite professional. They have private chef. They have yeah. personal trainers. They have gym. They have everything. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, you, you pay attention to the people they must say oh high school ball just get call up for the reggae boys and it like you, you pre them thing there? no sir me can't can't pre them too. well whisper shut up a lot of them you know yeah, he, <laughs> he did, did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's not about um necessarily age it's about talent True. and seeing what these players can become not who they are right now. Mm-hmm. So if it needs to give them look at you, them them exposure and them experience. So when them do touch a big stage at 21, 22, they don't feel you nervous. know nervous. Yeah. You get me? I feel like a lot of the brand new players that come into the team, they need time to adjust and they feel nervous and all mm-hmm. of this and that, you know? Mm-hmm. So if you can get the experience early and train together and gel together, we'll have a proper team in the True. years to come. Because it's, syn- it's like synch- um, synchronicity <laughs> and being able to be a cohesive team. That's exactly. what makes a good team. Play more yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play more games together. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, you, I mean, more <laughs> Whisper was a success. I'm sure. Is there who's the next one and you guys roster that we should look up? Um, right now, my dad bought a football club in Belgium. What? And he, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, has, yeah, he has 10 players over there now. So, you know, no, it's just... A lot of opportunities for for Jamaica. Now. Yeah, you get me and for Phoenix. So these young players are now going to be in professional teams at an early age, mm. developing, and then next next step after that. So wow, what a way <laughs> for us to go around the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man is in jail. Yeah. Yeah, about Chelsea, is there any worry? Seeing that it seemed like them just assign people haphazardly. He might talk about your team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like there's a sign of bag of people. Like, is there any worry on, um, on whispers? Be able to say, hmm, is cream, there a clear cut way cream, for him to really, you know, cream rise to the top every time? Mm. It's only up for whisper for fight for him, but mm. at the end of the day, the, the best players play. True. Mm. And he's, um, he's really young still. Yeah. You know, um, every club and company have them way of running them business you mm. know chelsea have them model of running them business yeah you know so i uh, who am i to question what they do but i know that whisper and uh and what they did show us his pathway is a positive one and we wouldn't take that route if we didn't feel like there was a, there was no possibility of him playing or mm. you know growing in that infrastructure mm. any part what the percentage chance of him being loaned Loan? Yeah. Me can't say nothing like that. <laughs> I'm asking the, the yeah. sports journalist. <laughs> I'm like, this is the wrong person. He doesn't work for Chelsea. Well, I know, like, has it been discussed? Me don't know. I don't that know. That is up to whisper. Okay. If him go out there and fight and play at him best, he won't get loaned. Mm. When Ian Martin mash up preseason, did he get loaned? No. 
But sometimes yeah, there's it. politics because sometimes uh, you know say you bad. <laughs> yeah. But there's an established hierarchy in the, in the squad and in our science. Ah, we just load him out to make him continue to prove himself. Yeah. Uh, as well as him giving him age as well. So, you know, I'm young, so let's go out and test him some more and then really see if he's uh, right mean, for the team. I mean, well, there's nothing wrong with being lonely. I mean, there's, not. I mean, there's nothing wrong. There's no shame in it either. Mm. So, I mean, if if whatever happens, he will be ready still. Mm. And as I said, that's not my part. Of it. <laughs> 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 we can't speak on him being lonely or playing or anything like that. Yes. I just seem to play ball. Leon, your bro, yeah. people must say play better for Aston Villa than for Jamaica. Do you think that's a him taking time to integrate within the Jamaican reggae boy setup as well? I think that's. It's a lot of pressure, you know. Mm. He has less pressure at Villa. He have a bag of top quality players around him, you know, versus where he plays for Jamaica. He might have scapegoat. Mm. Mm. He he has the biggest name there. He might have the most responsibility. He might have to play good every single time. You know, him can't make no mistake. Mm-hmm. You understand? So at the end of the day, when the team fails, he might have scapegoat. But and you talk about the, the like the, they don't play a lot. So I'm assuming exactly. that's the issue too. Like there's not really a cohesiveness among exactly. Um, the team. it's not like we're in other countries like Belgium and all of these other countries where all of them playing against each other from an early age. I mean, to like you eight national teams from an early age playing together. So how do you compete against that? Mm. You know, you just get in players from all over the world, bring them in, train two days, go in a competition. I mean, Mexico B team going beat us if we continue like that, Mm. you know? So, but I am, but I am, (laughs) but there's, but in the Gold Cup, I was still proud because you could see a better quality of play, style of play. They played much better Mm. and you can see that we're getting better. So once there's progress, you can't complain. Are you faith in the coach? Yeah, man, I have faith in him. Mm -hmm. Him have the right ideas. He gives the opportunity to everybody as mm. well. Before that was not never the case. Mm. That's true. Is it me? Which coach you see going to high school games, going even training sessions at clubs and stuff like that? Before no. Mm. You know, so him gave everybody them chance and opportunity with the Trinidad games, he made a lot of Premier League players get them chance to show themselves. You know, so I have no complaint to the coach. Him just have to work and go on build the generations to come the key, the key isn't this team right mm. now mm. yes they're going to make it to the next world cup you know what is the it damn well should yeah the <laughs> damn well should give him but, give yeah, him a set of the key, yeah. <laughs> but the key is growing the next generation mm. and yeah. making sure we don't mess up on that yeah yeah isn't me so for real for real i think so too for real Best of Kyle for passing through. CEO yeah, of Dynasty Music. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Check him out on LinkedIn. And, and Super Agent as well. Don't forget that as well. What do people them Kyle follow you, bro? Um, Kyle Butler. 77 on Instagram. But you know, <laughs> you know it go. <laughs> man is unsure. Uh, yeah. Somebody is managing just so much as well. No, man. I, I haven't been in that. I feel like as you get older, you're not that interested in yeah. that, that anymore. It's so, underscore yeah, 77. Yeah, underscore yeah, 77. There we go. There we go. There we go. But yeah, big up everybody that's supporting, you know, the music and yeah. the football and the whole journey still because so, it's really not that easy believe me. yeah you're doing no. and doing music. it and by myself as well yeah. uh, like just getting help now from andre and so my yeah. girlfriend as well chips in every now and then so so because you manage music as yeah. well as being an agent and yeah, exactly. it. it's like so imagine dealing with 10 artists every day mm. and then you deal with football you fly out go this way, 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 and still have to keep everything at one level so yeah which side girlfriend will help you with <laughs> music or football both everything oh, wow Wow, uh, <laughs> an artist. I think artists is more difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> Stressed. Mm. Oh my God. No, I'm not like this. Wait, but no, 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 no. When people <laughs> come now, him come and say, "All right, come 7 p.m. and then reach 10 o'clock." What? The- I have to leave to go to Belgium <laughs> tomorrow. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I am not show up at all. All right, can you imagine you send somebody out? Yo, I'm not like who you said it. Or, 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 across, the, <laughs> across the world, what are you going to do? <laughs> nah, no, I want you. Yeah, you be a deal with me. I'm there in Newcastle now. <laughs> I mean, Belgium. What? What? 
looking stand. That's all. I mean, I know. <laughs> Leave me so alone. I guess I guess that's where like you okay. I see where the girlfriend fits in. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, little soft touch. And yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. pretty and she bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. There we go. Kyle, give thanks to the bro. Yeah, man, big up, man. It was a, yeah, man. It was a joy. Kyle bought a lot of fix and I weed at people. <laughs>